How are you feeling? We're gonna get some milk for you soon, okay? We'll get some food in your belly. Yeah. Sebastian is in the emergency room. We've been here for eight hours. We have been waiting for a room on the pediatric floor because right now we're still in the emergency room bed, bedrooms. Um, we have been waiting for a bed in the pediatric floor for over three hours now. So at this point, all of the critical tests that need to be done uh, are have been taken and now we're just waiting on results. And Sebastian is asleep right now. Gio was just here, he just left. Uh, but he has to go home and take care of the animals. So, I'm recording because I'm alone and I'm passing the time. My most recent videos, I've been talking about Sebastian's energy levels and how they've been really low and he hasn't been himself. That's been going on for like three to four weeks. But in the last, I would say two to three days, they have changed e even more. They've gotten worse even more to the point where he's actually considered lethargic. Are you okay? Sebastian. Oh, I mean. Oh my goodness. What's going on? So today I made an appointment at, it was earlier this afternoon, to take him to the pediatrician to get some extended blood work done. He's very, very pale and I could not keep him awake. So I'm, I thought like he's low on blood, he's low on iron, let's get him tested for his iron. It's the only thing I could think of with the information that I had, him being too tired and being very pale. I assumed and it was going to be low iron. To make a very long day and long story short, I believe that there's something going on with Sebastian right now that is most likely unrelated to his heart issues, and so do his doctor. So we've done a complete full workup on him. They've tested him for COVID, RSV, pneumonia, bronchitis. They've looked at his liver. They looked at his ears, his G-tube site. Uh, the only thing they found so far is they did a chest X-ray and his left lung looks a little bit hazy. So there's a little bit of congestion in there, which could mean that it's pneumonia. Not sure yet, we have to retest in the morning. And then his white blood cells were elevated, which is a sign of infection, and his red blood cells were decreased. So it makes sense that he was so pale because he was not getting enough blood in his body between his heart and his red blood cells. So Sebastian landed himself an overnight stay at the hospital and they're going to do more tests tomorrow and hopefully figure out what's wrong with him and how to help him. At this point, it's not even about knowing what's wrong, it's just about him feeling better uh, because he's a very, very, very different kid than he has been, so it makes me really sad. It's a little bit dark in here, but they put him on some oxygen um, because his oxygen levels were very low earlier. He was having trouble breathing, but he's doing a lot better now. He's resting. He looks very, very peaceful, which is good. I'd rather him be, you know, peaceful and resting than cranky and upset and in pain. So he's, uh, he's not used to sleeping on his back, so I'm surprised that he's even on his back. Anyway, as you can tell, it's almost midnight and we are still waiting waiting on a room scratch that sleeping on his back definitely didn't last <laughs> that's okay he's got oxygen on and he's still able to sleep on his tummy if that's how he wants to sleep if that's you know how he's gonna get rest then i'm gonna let him do it in other news i have dinner of champion but you gotta love the ice cubes in the the hospital ice cubes right oh 
blah, blah, blah. We finally got a real room. It's after two, but that's okay. We just got them all checked in and talk with the doctor. She's gonna try to get us a little bit more information. cafeteria <sighs> all right why are the lights off seriously this is creepy <laughs> absolutely not I literally walked half a mile through the hospital at 2 30 in the morning for the salad and I think it was like seven dollars <laughs> that's okay okay well, we just spoke to one of the residents. She's going to try to get us some information and get us some answers. But for right now, Sebastian's doing really good. He's on a liter of oxygen, which is really good. It's right next to room air. And then we're going to try to get him some, some feed going to fill his belly. And hopefully he can get some rest and we'll get some answers in the morning. You guys, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been awake for over... 24 hours, but we it's all good. Sebastian is our first priority. Um, so I just got home. I have to grab some clothes for him and I have to grab some diapers and his formula. We didn't expect a hospital admin, so I had to run home, grab some things for him, grab some things for me. Unfortunately, Gio has to work, but he will be at the hospital after work. And I just hope that when I get back there, um, we have a little bit more information because right now, we don't really know. I mean, I think it's anemic related, um, but it also seems like he has an infection. He had 102 fever. So um, we're, we're going to get some more information today and I will update you guys. In the meantime, uh, please keep our little guy in your prayers. Thank you.